press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students. Today we discuss a new chapter that is a very important chapter in both first PUC and second PUC. So in the first PUC section, it is a basic topics, introduction topic. If you know properly in first PUC and it is very easy to understand the concept which are presenting second PUC. The chapter name is introduction to three dimensional geometry. Very important chapter. In this video, what we will study? What we what we will study? The first concept coordinate coordinate axis in space. Second one coordinate plane in space. Third one distance between points in space. The last topic suction formula. So here in this video we will study coordinate axis in space, coordinate plane in space, distance between two points in space and the last one section formula in space. Before we start three dimensional geometry, why we learn where it is used the 3D. Okay now for that, for that you know in a 10th class two-dimensional geometry yes na two-dimensional geometry so the two-dimensional geometry means it contains what two axes these two axes x o x dash y o y dash these two axes they are mutually perpendicular to each other yes they intersect at a point then that point we call it as origin they intersect at a point then that point we call it as origin and these two axes x o x dash is called x axis y o y dash is called y axis this rectangular system we call it as plane correct this completely rectangular coordinate system we call it as what plane yes so this is about in two dimensional geometry we represent a point it is nothing but an ordered pair so suppose p of a comma b this indicates O to M is A, P to M it is B, A indicates X coordinate, X coordinate correct and B indicates Y coordinate, B indicates Y coordinate. So this completely plane divide into four equal parts each part we call it as quadrants this is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant that also you know 
and you can also you know the sign of the quadrants in the first quadrant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive in the second quadrant x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive in third quadrant both are negatives in fourth quadrant x is positive y is negative yes this is about two dimensional geometry correct two dimensional geometry means it contains two axes x axis and y axis these two axes they are mutually perpendicular to each other correct these two axes they are mutually perpendicular to each other this is about you learn in 10th class my question is why we learn why we learn what three dimensional geometry for that so i take a plane xy plane correct xy plane two dimensional geometry in the xy plane i want to draw a square so for square i need length as well as breadth correct in two dimensional geometry i want to draw a square o c sorry a b c o o a b c it is a square so it means only length and breadth correct so only need two uh, axes length indicates x coordinate breadth indicate y coordinate okay so here where we actually use 3d correct where we actually use 3d if i want to draw a cube this is very important if i want to draw a cube this is cube it needs see observe here if i want to draw a cube if i want to draw a cube it needs what are those length breadth as well as height correct length breadth as well as what height length indicates this is what length breadth and one more is height if i want to draw a cube it needs length breadth along the length and breadth one more we want that is height length indicates x coordinate breadth indicates y coordinate height indicates z coordinate means what be the conclusion if i want to draw a cube it needs three axes x axis y axis and z axis x axis y axis and z axis these three axes they are mutually perpendicular to each other correct so this three axis this system we call it as three dimensional geometry three dimensional geometry means it contains three dimensional geometry means it contains three axes one is x axis another one is y axis the last one is z axis these three axes intersect at a point o that point we call it as origin that point we call it as origin so and these two axes sorry these three axes they are mutually perpendicular to each other you are not properly understand see observe here so using these three pens i show the three dimensional geometry the blue pen indicates x axis red pen indicates y axis and the black pen indicates z axis see observe here so this is very important see x axis y axis and z axis these three axes they are mutually perpendicular to each other this system we call it as rectangular 
coordinate axis this system x o x dash y o y dash and z o z dash they are mutually what perpendicular to each other this entire system we call it as what rectangular rectangular coordinate coordinate axis rectangular coordinate axis see observe here so this is x axis y axis and what z axis these three axis they are what mutually perpendicular to each other they are mutually perpendicular to each other they intersect at a point o they intersect at a point o then that point o we call it as origin that point o we call it as origin this entire system we call it as rectangular coordinate axis this we call it as this three dimensional geometry we call it as space two dimensional geometry we call it as plane whereas three dimensional geometry we call it as space understand three dimensional geometry we call it as space and the line x o x dash is called the line x o x dash is called x axis and the line y o y dash is called the line o y dash is called y axis the last line z o z dash is called z axis understand so the line x o x dash x dash negative direction of x axis positive direction of x axis y o y dash y indicates positive direction of y axis y dash indicates negative direction of y axis z o z dash z indicates positive direction of z axis z dash indicates negative direction of z axis these are called x axis y axis and z axis they intersect at a point o then that point here observe here they intersect at a point o then that point o we call it as what origin is it clear so two dimensional geometry means it contain two axes x axis and y axis last class last year you are discussing in the 10th class okay na then the two dimensional geometry is called plane three dimensional geometry means it contain three axes x axis y axis and z axis these three axes they are what mutually perpendicular to each other this is the first point second point they intersect at a point o then that point o is called what origin one more point so coordinate axis is over coordinate axis means coordinate axis means three lines x o x dash y o y dash and z o z dash they are mutually perpendicular these three axes are called rectangular coordinate axis this rectangular coordinate axis is called space means three dimensional geometry is called space then coordinate planes means what observe here these three axes divide the space these three axes divide the space into three equal parts first one is x o y second one is y o z third one is x o z observe here this it is divided into three part this is the first part second part and third part these three parts they are mutually perpendicular to each other this is observe this is the first part this is the second part and this is the third part these three parts they are what mutually perpendicular to each other so these parts are called these parts are called what coordinate coordinate planes observe here this part we call it as coordinate coordinate planes see x o y the x o y 
we call it as x y plane the plane containing x axis and y axis this is a plane the plane containing x axis and y axis is called x y plane the plane containing y axis and z axis is called what y z plane the plane containing x axis and z axis is called x z plane so the plane containing x axis and y axis is called x y plane the plane containing y axis and z axis is called y z plane the plane containing x axis and z axis is called what x z plane observe here carefully x axis y axis is called x y plane this we call it as x y plane the plane containing y axis and z axis is called y z plane the plane containing x axis and z axis x axis and z axis is called x z plane here i written these planes they are mutually perpendicular to each other observe this is one plane this is second plane and this is third plane see carefully these three planes so x y plane is perpendicular to y z plane y z plane is perpendicular to x z plane say x z plane is perpendicular to x y plane so these three planes they are mutually perpendicular to each other these planes are called coordinate coordinate planes in space if these three planes what are those planes x y plane y z plane x z plane x y plane y z x z plane x z plane x y plane y z plane these three planes which are mutually perpendicular to each other this is called coordinate coordinate planes understand so one more point very important point this coordinate planes means these three planes divide the space complete space these three planes divide the space into eight equal parts see what we see in two dimensional geometry what we see in two dimensional geometry in two dimensional geometry the plane is divided into how many parts four four equal parts correct na the plane is divided into how many parts four equal parts each part we call it as quadrant in two dimensional geometry in three dimensional geometry these coordinate planes what are those planes x y plane y z plane x z plane these are mutually what perpendicular to each other correct na these are all mutually perpendicular to each other these three planes divide the space divide the space into how many parts eight eight equal parts we will see that how it will be divided eight equal parts each part we call it as of and very important these three once again i say this these three coordinate planes x y plane y z plane x z plane coordinate planes means these three planes are mutually perpendicular to each other correct na these three planes are what mutually perpendicular to each other these three planes divide the space complete space into how many parts eight equal parts eight equal parts each part we call it as octant what we see in the plane the plane is divided into four part each part we call it as quadrant same way the space is divided into how many parts eight equal parts each part we call it as what octant sir how it will be divided into eight equal parts i see i explain by using these three plans observe here
this is this is first actant observe here this actant contain the edges are ox positive direction of x axis oy positive direction of y axis and oz positive direction of z axis the actant contain the edges are ox oy oz okay na the actant contain the edges ox oy and oz is called is called x o y z actant first octant the octant contain the edges edges what are those edges ox oy oz so that octant we call it as x o y z octant in this octant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive z coordinate is also positive correct na x coordinate y coordinate matlab z coordinate is positive this is the one octant so what i do here i shifted the positive direction of x axis towards the negative direction of x axis i shift here see observe here o x dash one more octant yes na one more octant this octant contains the edges what are those edges o x dash o x dash indicates negative x axis correct na o x dash o y o z correct o x dash o x dash means x dash o y z octant just i shift what i just i shift positive x axis to negative x axis this is one more octant second octant next one similarly so what i do i shift positive y axis towards negative y axis so this octant clear lab sorry here this octant contains ox o y dash o z are the edges correct this octant contains clear lab sorry here ox o y dash and o z so one more octant we got x o y dash z octant x o y dash octant this is third octant so one more octant so what i do here observe here carefully what i do here this octant contains o x dash the edges are o x dash o y dash and o z o x dash o y dash and o z so the edges are o x dash o y dash and z fourth octant x dash o y dash z x dash y dash z that means the negative direction of x axis these are all fourth octant clear so next observe carefully in these three fourth octants we fix what z is positive correct na z is positive so what i do here i shifted z to negative x axis negative direction of z axis negative direction of z axis observe here this octant contains the edges of ox o y o z dash correct na this one more octant i <coughs> explained here this octant contains the edges are o x o y and o z dash fifth one o x x o y z dash octant x o y dash y z dash octant next what i do here positive direction of x axis i shifted to negative direction of x axis this octant see they are all mutually perpendicular this octant contains the edges this octant contains the edges are ox dash oy oz dash 
करेक्ट ओ एक्स डैश ओ वाई ओ जेड डैश सिक्स वन एक्स ओ वाई सॉरी एक्स डैश ओ एक्स डैश वाई जेड डैश ऑफ टाइम एक्स डैश ओ वाई जेड डैश ऑफ टाइम करेक्ट वॉट आई डू हियर नेक्स्ट सो आई शिफ्ट आई शिफ्ट positive direction of y axis to negative direction of y axis i shift positive direction of y axis to negative direction of y axis this octant careful observe here this octant contains the edges are ox oy dash oz dash seventh one x o y dash z dash octant x o y dash z dash octant Lastly, what I do, I shifted positive y-axis to negative y-axis. Sorry, negative x-axis. See, observe here. This octant contains the edges are O x dash, O y dash, O z dash. Eighth one. X dash, O y dash, z dash octant. See, observe here. So they divided into. They divided into how many parts? Eight equal parts. Each part we call it as octant. Once again, I say this one. Once again, I explain. C indicates this. Blue pen indicates what? X-axis. Red pen indicates Y-axis. Black pen indicates Z-axis. We will explain one by one by one. So this is the first octant. In this octant, X is positive, Y is positive, Z is positive. Correct. The octants are denoted by first we write x, then we intersection point, then we write y, and then we write z. X O Y Z octant. X O Y Z octant. So positive y axis, positive x axis, positive z axis. Next, I shifted positive x axis to negative direction of x axis. Negative direction of x axis. Second octant contains the edges are O X dash O Y O Z X dash O Y Z octant. Third octant I shifted just only the positive direction of Y axis to negative direction of Y axis. The positive direction of Y axis to what? Negative direction of Y axis. This octant contains the edges are O X O Y dash O Z. X O Y dash Z dash octant. Next, so I shifted positive direction of X axis to negative direction of X axis. Then this octant contains the edges are O X dash O Y dash O Z. X dash O Y dash Z octant. For in these four octant, in these four octant, observe carefully. The Z we fix. It is positive. We converted the positive z to negative z. We got four more octants. The first octant is x dash o y z octant. Here, observe here, x is positive, y is positive, z is negative. So x positive. So we shifted negative x x dash o y z dash octant. So next we shifted negative y x o y dash z dash octant. So all are negatives. So observe here the coordinate planes. The coordinate planes. What are those coordinate planes? X y plane, y z plane, x z plane. Divide the space into how many parts? Eight. Equal parts. Each part we call it as octant. Clearly, observe each part we call it as octant. So octants are denoted by first we write x, then we write intersection point, then we write y as well as z coordinate, z axis. These are all called octants. So octants are very important. After knowing the octants, how to represent? Very important point. How to represent a point in space? That is very important. For that, so how to write the coordinate coordinate point? 
coordinate coordinate point in space very important topic coordinate coordinate point in space see observe here o x axis o y axis and o z axis let p be a point let p be a point in space p be a point in space so draw pm the first point draw pm perpendicular to xy plane observe here yes na it is perpendicular to it is perpendicular to what xy plane draw pm draw pm first point draw pm perpendicular to what xy plane from the point m draw m n draw m n perpendicular to x axis observe here perpendicular to x axis then o n is called x coordinate o n o n is called x coordinate o n is called x coordinate n m is called y coordinate n m is called y coordinate n m is called y coordinate p m p m is called z coordinate p m is called what z coordinate so this is the way to represent the coordinate point in space let p be a point in space draw p m firstly draw p m perpendicular to x y plane from the point m draw m n perpendicular to x axis then o n is called x coordinate n m is called y coordinate p m is called p m is called z coordinate means the point p contain x comma y comma z it indicates the space is nothing but the space is nothing but ordered triple h ordered triple h the point p contain three coordinates x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate so very important so in a plane if i draw a plane so the point p contains ordered pair x comma y it means two values x coordinate y corner ordered pair correct ordered pair x indicates x coordinate y indicates y coordinate whereas in space the point p contain three coordinate x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate that's why the point p is called what ordered triple h ordered triple h so x indicates o n indicates x coordinate n m indicates y coordinate whereas p m indicates what z coordinate is it clear o n indicates x coordinate n m indicates y coordinate and p m indicates what z coordinate this is the way to represent this is the method to represent a point p in space coordinate of a point p in space see observe here here we say this one the sign of a quadrant so if in the first quadrant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive in the second quadrant x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive in the third quadrant all are negative in the fourth quadrant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative similarly similarly we see that the sign of a coordinates in different octants very important the sign of the sign of coordinates 
द साइन ऑफ साइन ऑफ को ऑर्डिनेट्स इन डिफरेंट ऑक्टाइट इन डिफरेंट ऑक्टाइट्स सो फॉर दट एट ऑक्टेंट्स आर देर सो इट इज वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड very simple concept see what i written here x a coordinate y coordinate z coordinate these are all coordinate so here written first octant second one third one fourth one fifth octant Sixth one, seventh one, eighth one. So we know this. The space is divided into eight equal parts. Each part we call it as octant. So here next we discuss the sign of a coordinates in different octants. Means in first octant x coordinate is what. y coordinate is what z coordinate is what for that observe here so what i do here first i write plus then we write minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus plus this is very important first we return plus first we return plus after that we write 2 minus then we write 2 plus 2 minus 1 plus for y what we do Two positives, two negative, two positive, two negative for y-axis. Z-axis four positives, four negative, four positive, four negatives. Very simple, very easy method. See observe here. First we write plus. Opposite sign is what? Minus. So we write two minus. Okay now very easy method. Then we write two plus two minus one plus. This is for x coordinate. Y coordinate. What we do? Two positives, two negatives, two positive, two negatives. For z, four positive, four negatives. We will see that. First octant. First octant. Observe here. x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive z coordinate is positive so in first octant what we see in first quadrant in 2d first quadrant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive 2d means it contains two coordinates ordered pair 3d means it contains three point three coordinate x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate that's why we call it as ordered triplet see observe here in in first octant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive z coordinate is also positive all are positive in first octant this is very important okay next second octant in second octant x coordinate is what negative y coordinate is positive z coordinate is positive x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive z coordinate is positive in third octant in third octant x coordinate is negative y coordinate is negative z coordinate is positive carefully observe x coordinate is negative y coordinate is negative z coordinate is positive in fourth octant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative z coordinate is positive in fifth octant in fifth octant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive z coordinate is negative in sixth octant x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive z coordinate is negative in seventh octant 
x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate all are what negatives x coordinate is also negative y coordinate is also negative z coordinate is also negative see what we see in first octant in first octant all are positive in seventh octant all are negatives the lastly eighth octant eighth octant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative z coordinate is also negative so this is very easy to understand the sign of coordinates in different octants sir how to remember this table yes now it is very easy method so for x what i say first write plus okay now first write plus then write 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus plus this is very easy method first we write plus after that write 2 minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus plus this is x coordinate is over y coordinate what we do two positives two negatives two positive two negatives z coordinate four positive four negatives correct four positive four negatives so this is very important table in may in cet or in theory they may ask see the point p 3 comma minus 4 comma 5 lies on which octant the point p 3 minus 4 5 we will see in the problems simple one example the point p 3 minus 4 5 lies on which octant observe carefully x coordinate is positive y coordinate is a negative z coordinate is positive x coordinate is positive x coordinate is positive y coordinate is a negative y coordinate is negative z coordinate is positive it lies on which octant fourth octant it lies on fourth octant that's why this table is very important so how to remember this table so for x once again i say that for x coordinate first we write plus then we write 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus plus for y coordinate 2 positive 2 negative 2 positive 2 negatives for z coordinate 4 positive 4 negatives so we will see the problems so so problems are there so in exercise name the octant see that name the octants name the octants in which the following points lie name the octants name the octants in which the following points following points like the first point 1 comma 2 comma 3 the first point 1 comma 2 comma 3 observe carefully x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive z coordinate is positive all are positive all are positive means it is nothing but what first octant all are positive means it is nothing but first octant second problem second problem 4 comma minus 2 comma 3 so carefully observe 4 comma minus 2 comma 3 in this point x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative z coordinate is positive x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative z coordinate is positive that is nothing but what fourth octant fourth octant next third problem third one four comma minus two comma minus five four comma minus two comma minus five so observe carefully x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative z coordinate is negative x coordinate is positive x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative z coordinate is negative it is nothing but what the eighth octant eighth octant next problem four comma four minus four comma two comma five 
minus 4 comma 2 comma 5 x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive z coordinate is positive observe carefully x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive z coordinate is positive it lies on which octant second octant it lies on second octant next problem minus 3 comma minus 1 comma 6 x here in this point x coordinate is negative y coordinate is negative z coordinate is positive x coordinate is negative y coordinate is negative z coordinate is positive means it lies on which octant a third octant it lies on third octant next point 2 comma minus 4 comma minus 7 observe this point x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative z coordinate is negative x coordinate is positive observe carefully x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative z coordinate is negative it's nothing but what eighth octant eighth octant one more problem minus 3 comma minus 4 comma minus 6 minus 3 comma minus 4 comma minus 6 see x coordinate is negative y coordinate is negative z coordinate is negative it is nothing but seventh octant so if you remember this table if you remember this table so it is very easy to write the point lies on which octant this is the method so how to remember this table once again i say that for x coordinate write the plus first then write 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus plus this is for x coordinate for about y coordinate 2 positive 2 negative 2 positive 2 negative for about z coordinate 4 positives 4 negatives okay now understand okay then after knowing the sign of coordinates in different octants then we will see the another concept very important concept so you already know in the two dimensional geometry so i draw a space the space means it contains three axis x axis y axis and z axis they intersect at the point o they intersect at the point o then the point o is called what origin correct the point o is called origin very important first point the coordinate of origin is nothing but the coordinate of origin is nothing but 0 comma 0 comma 0 s na x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate all are 0 what we see in 2d same here x coordinate is 0 y coordinate is 0 and z coordinate is also 0 correct then a point on x axis suppose p be a point it lies on x axis what we see in 2d two dimensional geometry if a point lies on x axis x y coordinate is zero correct the same way a point lies on a point lies on x axis so a comma zero comma zero that means x coordinate is zero y coordinate is zero op is nothing but a op is nothing but x coordinate so if a point p very important point if a point p lies on x axis y coordinate and z coordinate are zero y coordinate and z coordinate are zero similarly if a point q lies on y axis so here x coordinate is zero s y coordinate are written as b o q is nothing but b and z coordinate is zero if a point q so okay if a point q lies on y axis a point on y axis if a point q lies on y axis x coordinate is zero z coordinate is zero very important point suppose one more point i written as r 
I return as R. If a point R lies on Z axis, if a point R lies on Z axis here, X coordinate is 0, Y coordinate is 0, Z coordinate I return as C. O R is equal to C. This is the first concept. If a point P, once again I say that, if a point P lies on X axis, so y coordinate and z coordinate are 0. If a point Q lies on y axis, x coordinate and z coordinate are 0. If a point R lies on z axis, very important, if a point R lies on z axis, x coordinate and y coordinate is 0. This is first one. One more point. One more. If a point P, if a point P lies or else, okay, if a point P lies on XY plane, very important, if a point, if a point P, if a point P lies on XY plane, if a point P lies on XY plane, on XY plane, Observe here on XY plane. XY plane means the plane containing X axis, Y axis. What about Z axis? 0. So that is nothing but A comma B comma 0. A indicates X coordinate. B indicates Y coordinate. 0, Z coordinate. If a point P lies on XY plane, on XY plane, the coordinate of Z is 0. Very important. On XY plane, on XY plane, the coordinate of Z is 0. Similarly, if a point P lies in YZ plane, instead of P written as Q, Q lies in YZ plane, on YZ plane, X coordinate is 0. Correct? X coordinate is 0. If a point P or else if a point R lies on XZ plane, lies on XZ plane, so A comma 0 comma B. Y coordinate is 0. Correct? On XZ plane, Y coordinate is 0. On XY plane, Z coordinate is 0. On YZ plane, X coordinate is 0. Very important. If a point, once again I say that, if a point P lies on XY plane, Z coordinate is 0. If a point Q lies on YZ plane, X coordinate is 0. If a point R lies on XZ plane, Y coordinate is 0. This is very important. See, where we see some problems are there in exercise. 12.1 I think. The first problem. A point is on X axis. What are its? What are its? Y coordinate and Z coordinate. The question like that. A point P lies on X axis. What are its? What are its? Y coordinate and Z coordinate. What about Y coordinate? Y coordinate is 0. Z coordinate is 0. One more problem. A point P is in XZ plane. A point P is in XZ plane. What can you say about its Y coordinate? Y coordinate is 0. So one more problem. Fill in the blanks are there. The X axis and Y axis taken together determine a plane known as XY plane. Correct? plane known as xy plane the coordinate of points in xy plane coordinate of points in xy plane is a comma b comma 0 a indicates x coordinate b indicates y coordinate 0 indicates z coordinate in xy plane in xy plane what z coordinate is 0 one more last question in that exercise coordinate of plane divide the space into dash how many parts 8 equal parts. Each part we call it as octant. 
each part we call it as octant these are all questions in first exercise so once again i say that once again i recall the three dimensional geometry three dimensional geometry means three dimensional geometry means contain three axes x axis y axis and z axis these three axes these three axes they are mutually perpendicular to each other correct these three axes they are mutually perpendicular to each other this system we call it as rectangular coordinate axis first point rectangular coordinate axis so these three intersect at a point o then that point o is called what origin okay na that point o call it as origin the x o x dash is nothing but x axis y o y dash is nothing but y axis z o z dash is nothing but z axis so these coordinate axis x axis y axis z axis divide the space 3d means space into three equal parts each part we call it as coordinate planes so the plane xy plane yz plane xz plane xy plane yz plane xz plane so they are mutually perpendicular to what each other these are called coordinate planes in space coordinate planes in space means these three planes xy plane yz plane xz plane these three planes are mutually what perpendicular to each other so these planes are called coordinate planes the next topic is coordinate planes in space divided into eight equal parts correct na eight equal parts each part we call it as what octant how each part we call it as octant so the octant containing the edges ox oy oz is called x o y z octant correct x o y z octant thank you